Hi guys, my name is Zach and in this video we are going to be talking about modifiers and more specifically we are going to be talking about adjectives. We have attributive adjectives, predicative adjectives, descriptive or limiting adjectives and we are also going to see some comparison problems. When we use any word that describes or qualifies another word or enriches the other word's meaning, we call it modifier. The modifiers can be adjectives, they can be adverbs, a prepositional phrase, or a clause. For example, the young woman married. So in this example, we have the young adjective, woman subject, and verb married. So the young woman married. Now, what if we want to enrich this sentence, right? So we have three examples here. We have the young woman was poor. She married immediately. She married after graduation. So if we combine all these three sentences together, we can have one rich sentence. The poor young woman married immediately after graduation. Now, all these are modifiers, right? Or young is also a modifier. Woman is subject. Married is verb. And then we have immediately adverb. After graduation is prepositional phrase, right? Now in this lesson, we are going to focus on adjectives. Adjectives modify a noun or a pronoun. The function of an adjective is to tell us which one, what kind, whose, and how many or how much. We have attributive adjectives, and they are placed before the nouns they modify. Predicative adjectives follow linking verbs. Let's see more examples. We have the big house. The house is big. A popular singer. The singer is popular. Some words can only be used as predicative adjectives. Sometimes they have no degree of comparison and they cannot be modified by degree adverbs such as to, very, much, almost, nearly, enough, hardly, and so on. Many adjectives that begin with the letter A are predicative adjectives. For example, afraid, alike, alone, asleep, awake, ahead, ashamed, and many more. Some other adjectives are ill, well, glad, pleased, sorry, sure, certain, unable, ready, fond, and so on. For example, the boy was ill. Okay, so the adjective here is ill. In this example, ill can only be predicative adjective. So we cannot say an ill boy. Another example, we have an adjective that begins with a. The dog is asleep, right? So this adjective begins with A, so it has to be predicative adjective. And for that reason, we cannot say an asleep dog. Functionally, adjectives can be put into two types, descriptive and limiting, right? So descriptive adjectives describe the noun or pronoun they modify. They point out the color, shape, texture, scent, or any other quality the noun or pronoun may possess. For example, the simple farmer dug a large hole in the field. Okay, so here we have the simple, so describes the quality of the farmer, a large hole, large size, so hole is a noun, large hole. Another one we have, the farmer is excited. Right, so in this example, excited is adjective, so that is the quality of the noun. Limiting adjective, on the other hand, they limit, they restrict the definition of the nouns and pronouns they modify. Most limiting adjectives describe quantity, including the numbers and assorted quantity words. Those quantity words can be half, double, many, some, daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. Right, so the boy earned 50 cents for each daily newspaper he delivered. Now here, 50 is limiting adjective, right? Cannot be more, cannot be less. We have a specific number, right? So 50 cents. 
and daily limits the noun newspaper, right? So it, it's not telling us the quality of the paper, the size of the newspaper. Another example we have is many people visited the museum. So many people also limit the noun people, right? So it's not telling us whether the people were uh, short, tall, maybe young, old, right? So we don't have more information about people. Many adjectives have different forms to indicate their degree of comparison. There are three levels of comparison. We have positive, comparative, superlative. When we want to compare something that is equal, we can use the following formula. S plus adjective plus S. For example, summer in England is as lovely as spring in China. So summer in England is as lovely as spring in China. So we use the formula as plus adjective lovely plus as. And we use this formula because we want to compare something that is equal. No more, nor less, but equal, right? For something that is not equal, we can use the following formula. Not so plus adjective plus as. Or we can say not as plus adjective plus s. For example, your story is not so interesting as mine. Your story is not so plus adjective plus s. Now we can also say not as interesting as mine, right? So your story is not as interesting as mine. So both of these variations are okay. When we compare quantities, we have to be careful whether the noun is countable or uncountable. The formula is to use as plus much or many plus noun plus as. Okay, so here we are not using adjectives and we are using nouns. And because we are using a noun, uh, we have to be careful whether it's countable or uncountable. We use much for uncountable nouns, and we use many for countable nouns. In this example, money is uncountable noun. So we say, I earn as much money as my son does. Right? So the formula, as plus much plus noun, money, plus as. Or we can also say as little or as few plus noun plus as. Harry has as few cards as you have. Okay, so Harry has, and the formula, as few plus noun cards plus as, and then we have you have. Little will be used for uncountable, and few will be used for countable nouns. So when we have one syllable adjective like kind, sweet, hot, then we add er. Adjectives that have three or more syllables, we add more. For example, beautiful, it will be more beautiful. Interesting, it will be more interesting. Now, when we have two syllable adjectives and they end with er, y or ly, we usually add er. For example, clever, it will become cleverer. Pretty, it will be prettier. Silly, it will be sillier. However, we do have cases where adjective end with F-U-L, full, and R-E. For example, careful. So that is a two-syllable adjective, careful. And because this adjective ends with F-U-L, full, we cannot add E-R. So we have to use more. Okay, so it will be more careful. Another adjective that ends in RE is mature, right? Mature. We will say more mature. All right, let's look at the examples. This work is more difficult than I had originally thought. Okay, so more difficult. So that is a three syllable adjective. She is 12 years younger than her husband. Right? Young, young, one syllable adjective. So we add ER. 
we can use the comparatives with the comparative degree plus another comparative degree to say that things change in relation to each other. If the comparative uses a noun and verb, not all do, then the structure is the comparative degree plus noun plus subject plus verb. For example, the sooner the better, right? Another example we have, the more mistrust we feel, the less confidence we have. Sometimes when we compare things, we can also use multiples. For example, A is three times the size, height, length, width of B, right? So we use noun. When we use nouns, then we use three times, and these are the nouns, size, height, length, width of B. So for example, the Oriental Pearl Tower is three times the height of this hotel, okay? Next, when we use adjectives uh, such as big, high, long, wide, large, we can use three times as adjective as something else. For example, Asia is four times as large as Europe. All right, and when we have adjectives that are already in comparative mode, they already have ER, right? So we can say three times larger, higher, longer, wider than something else, okay? So we can say the virus is five times longer than the average one. Some adjectives, most ending with OR, like superior, inferior, senior, junior, and so on. In comparative mode, they follow to instead of then. For example, I'm sure there will be much more discussion of it prior to that debate. He felt superior to Rick in English. The superlative degree compares more than two nouns or pronouns. It is the highest degree of comparison for adjectives. And it's usually formed by adding the EST to the uninfected positive or absolute form of the shorter words like kind, kindest, fast, fastest, or by putting most before longer words. For example, most extraordinary, most expensive. Okay, let's look at the examples. He is the fastest and that was the most time-consuming work I have ever done. Time-consuming is very long adjective, so we say the most time-consuming work. Sometimes adjectives appear in a string, and when they do, they are in a set according to a category. So here we have the first one is determiner, then we have qualifier, observation, size, shape, age, color, origin, and material. Right, so we also have some examples here. For determiner, we have a, an, the, my, mine as well. Qualifier, very, rather, more, fairly. Observation, we have lovely, boring, beautiful. For size, we have big, small, huge. Shape, long, high, round, square. Age can be old, new. Color, red, blue. Origin, Chinese, British, American. And material, gold, copper, silk. So in this example, we begin with determiner, a. And then we have qualifier, very, observation, beautiful, shape, long, color, red, origin, Chinese, and material, silk, dress. Right, so they all modify the noun dress, right? So I bought a very beautiful long red Chinese silk dress. Another example we have is my grandfather lives in a lovely, huge, ancient brick house. The old lady owns a nice, big, old, brown dog named Boy. Adjectives are usually put immediately before the noun or pronoun they modify. For example, before her is a long, winding queue, right? So queue is a noun, and we have adjectives, a long, winding queue. When indefinite pronouns such as someone, somebody, anything, anybody, are modified by adjective, then the adjective comes after them. For example, 
Do you have anything important to tell me? Anything is a pronoun and important is adjective. In this example, we have indefinite pronoun and the adjective comes after the pronoun. Sometimes, however, adjectives may follow the nouns or pronouns they modify. And when this happens, the writer wants to emphasize or highlight their place in a sentence. Let's compare these two. The simple excited farmer dug a large hole in the field, right? So in the first one, the adjectives go before the noun, farmer. And in the second example, we emphasize the condition of the farmer. So we will write the farmer, comma, simple and excited, comma, dug a large hole in the field. When adjectives are equal, we can use and to separate them, or we can use comma. For example, they went to the country to live a simple and quiet and good life. If we can use and or we can use comma, then we call these coordinate adjectives. But if we have adjectives who modify other adjectives, we call them cumulative adjectives. For example, my uncle saved money to buy a bright yellow car. Right? So bright modifies yellow and here we cannot use and. When we have comparison problems, it means that something is not equal. So when we compare, we need to make sure that both sides are equal and we are comparing two same things. For example, our program is like Fudan University. So on one side, we are talking about the program and on the other side, we have Fudan University. So we have two different things. To improve this comparison, we can say our program is like the one at Fudan University. So our program is like the program at Fudan University. Or we can say our program is like Fudan Universities. So here s means possessive. We are talking about program, so we can decide whether or not to write program, but the possessive s already indicates that we are talking about program. We often have unbalanced structure. So make sure the structure on the left side is balanced with the structure on the right side. For example, the salary of a teacher is lower than a doctor's. Okay, so here we, we are talking about the salary of a teacher is lower than a doctor's. Right, so to improve this, we can say the salary of the teacher is lower than that salary of a doctor. Or we can also use possessive and we can say a teacher's salary is lower than a doctor's salary or just a teacher's salary is lower than a doctor's. When we compare one member or a group with another one, we have to use other or else. For example, New York has more skyscrapers than any city in America. Here, we need to say New York has more skyscrapers than any other city in America. The next example of the class, Simon is obviously much brighter than anyone, right? So here we need to use anyone else. Of the class, Simon is obviously much brighter than anyone else. Words that end in ER or EST should not be further modified. For example, funny, funnier, the funniest. So in this example, the film was more funnier than the one I saw last night. To fix this, we can say the film was funnier than the one I saw last night.
All right, this is the end of this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a lot about adjectives. If you have any questions, post them in the comment below and don't forget to subscribe so you can get the next video. Bye.